Good morning. Happy Monday to everybody. Hi, it's Gail Bates, mymentorbiz.com. And this is the Monday morning and team building tip, the Monday minute team building tip, I call it. Um, I'm so excited to be here today because we are talking about how to get the most out of trade shows, vendor events, holiday fairs, and this is the time of year that this is happening. And I'm hearing from so many of my clients that are doing these events that are having such great success with them. So what we are talking about is I'm actually giving you tips every week. This is a little series, and we've gone through um, how to set a goal, how to set a goal, what, do you, what is the purpose of your, of your trade show or vendor event, what is it you want to uh, get out of it, okay? So having a goal is really important. We've talked about uh, knowing the cost because going in, you want to make sure that you have a return on investment. That ROI is so important. So knowing your costs going in, knowing how much you want to get out of this vendor event, if it's sales, if it's bookings, uh, it's very important. And, you know, we talked last week about the booth setup having that booth set up that's so inviting that people just want to walk right in and are totally attracted to what you have got there. So that setup is so important. Now today we're talking a little bit about booth materials, okay? So booth materials are all about uh, having the right materials about your business. You want to look professional. And so you want to make sure that you have, you know, lots of your brochures. Now, the thing about brochures is you do not want to hand them out willy-nilly. No brochures are expensive. So maybe have one or two sitting on the table. And then if people truly want a brochure, if they exchange information, then give them a brochure because now you can follow up with them. That's the rule about giving out brochures. And then maybe you have... Um, a, uh, a recruiting brochure, a smaller brochure that's not as expensive, and those are uh, brochures that you want to hand out. But again, handing out brochures and catalogs, really making sure that you get people's information if you're handing them out so that you can follow up with them is the number one rule. So having catalogs, brochures available, okay, you want to make sure that you also have those recruiting packets. If, the, if this is where you really want to recruit somebody, having your display there, having some recruiting packets available, and hostess packets available, uh, these is, this is materials that you work with in your business. You want to make sure you have it. Another thing that's important is you might want to have like a small TV or even an iPad close by that has some videos of your products things that are happening with your company so that people are able to view that. If you've got a lot of people in your booth and you're talking to a lot of people, some people might be over taking a little view of a video that's happening, okay? And it's another attraction point for you. The big thing is no handwritten crafty things, okay? Make sure everything you've got there looks professional. You want to make sure that you are professional. And the big rules for the booth are no chairs. And you're going, oh my gosh, I got to stand the whole time. Well, that's what your business is, okay? If you're sitting down, you're not at eye level with the person who's walking by. They're looking down. So you want to make sure you're standing in front and you're at the same eye level of that person. And, you know, if you have to take a break, go take a break, okay? But it's important that you're at eye level with them. So no chairs usually. No eating, okay? You don't want to be chewing on something when you're trying to talk to somebody. Only water. Water's good. Everybody has to have water, okay? And you want to make sure you have a product special. And I always suggest you do something that is um, that stands out. Like um, if you've got products that you can put in a basket with a big bow around it or make it look special, people are going to be attracted to it and want to know what it is. And that's when you have your handy drawer slip. Okay, and I suggest you use a lot of uh, three, four, five, six, how many, depending on the people, these short little clipboards. And you put your drawer slip on the clipboard because when people have a drawer slip on the clipboard, it's easy for them to write on it without leaning over on a table. And, and you're also able to still keep the conversation going or have a number of people that are actually filling out your drawer form. Now, your draw form, we talked a little bit about it last time. You want to make sure, of course, you're capturing their information. 
uh, their name, their, their phone numbers, home and, and business, their email, their address. And then I have, I suggest you have uh, them check off a few things. And you can make sure that they're checking off what you want, okay? But here are some suggestions. Hi, Annette. Great to see you. Um, so some suggestions are, host. would you like to host a party? Uh, maybe book a private appointment. Okay, that is sometimes one that I got checked a lot because I had private fitting appointments. Uh, fundraising information, you know, fundraising, people are very interested in, in more information about fundraising. Um, my monthly newsletter tips, okay, so that's something that if you're sending out, that's a great thing that they might want to, if they love your products and they want to learn more about how to use your products, getting a monthly tip, sharing that with them, letting them know that's what comes out every month. It's just a, simply a newsletter that has um, tips on it for them. Okay, then you might want to have a, ch a check that says learning more about my business opportunity. And that's important because if you have an opportunity to talk about that at the booth, and that's what we're going to talk about next week. But And then today with social media, you want to make sure you're, you've got Let's Connect via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. And so making sure that that's where they're going to connect with you. You also want to run an ad on there. Would you uh, ask them if they'd like permission to join your VIP customer group, which I hope each one of you have in on Facebook because it's a fabulous area for you to really serve your customers. So that's your little um, draw slip. If you want a copy of that, you can email me. Um, but it also there's information on the free handout that I have for you today. So uh, the other thing you want to think about with booth materials um, is having the company banner, which I'm sure you do have many companies today have a lovely stand up banner or they have a, um, a tablecloth with their name written across it so that your company looks professional. You're presenting a very professional look with your company. OK, some people use what we call try presentation boards where they have uh, photos they've set up that looks very uh, professional as well. So you might want to try that. But as much information about your company and your products, this is the booth materials that you want to have in your booth. And you want to make sure you're standing out so that you're attracting people to walk into your booth and be standing there ready with your beautiful smile, ready to greet them and share information about them. OK, your job now that you've got all your booth materials together is to now focus on building the relationship and making that customer who's coming into your booth have the best experience possible at that trade show a vendor event, a holiday fair, whatever it is you're doing. But this is one of the best ways for you to expand your business and grow your business in meeting people. I can't tell you the amount of customers, uh, new customers, new hostesses, and new recruits and who became great leaders all came through a lot of trade shows and vendor events that were on my calendar every month. So I hope this has been helpful for you today. I'd love you to leave a tip below on which of these tips were helpful for you or share with me what's been your success at a trade show, okay? That would be great. Hi, Annette, okay. Oh, super, you have a vendor event this Saturday. You're going to be ready, okay? Set your goal, know your costs, get your booth set up, okay? You can go back to my YouTube channel and watch all those. Uh, today is all about the booth materials. Next week, we're going to talk about how to work the booth, okay? This is a real art to that, and it's about building that relationship. And then if you have team members, and then we'll talk about the follow-up the following week. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. This is Gail Bates, where I love to help leaders build million-dollar teams because they and then make a difference for others. So have a great Monday. Thanks, Annette, for being here. Bye.